years later, at the same Lakehurst Naval Air Station, a new experimental blimp is unveiled, the Piasecki PA-97 Helistat. The U.S. Forest Service claims it's able to carry 26 tons of timber out of remote logging areas, a feat that many believe will revolutionize the logging industry. The flying apparatus is made up of a helium-filled blimp mounted on an aluminum undercarriage. The entire craft is then powered by four decommissioned Sikorsky H-34J helicopters. Even as it's wheeled out to the tarmac, some folks are skeptical of the design. Boys got guts to take that. Boys, uh... I'll be honest with you, it looks like a hell of a configuration, you know what I mean? But in spite of the cynicism, the test flight of the $40 million airship continues. Slowly, it makes its way down the runway and begins to take to the air. Then, just moments into the flight, Almost immediately after liftoff, unanticipated vibrations rattle the frame. Seconds later, the right rear helicopter breaks off. One by one, the helicopters fall to the ground. The frame of the blimp buckles, and as the helium escapes, it too plummets to the airfield killing one of the pilots. Rescuers race to the scene and begin to extinguish the flaming wreckage. It's a terrible twist of fate that the site of one of the most horrific aviation accidents in history is the location for another freak disaster.